get this from Milk, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and this is probably some of the best craft beer I've ever had. Damn straight. Uh, this is actually quite fun. So we were catching the dart for live bait and while the guys were catching dart I took a full metal jacket with a 12 volt tuna circle and I threw a dart literally 30 meters it wasn't even three minutes and I'm on I saw it jump it's a black fin so uh, not a big fish probably a 50 kilo fish but uh, that's it eh? Put a live bait and you get a bite. We've been struggling the whole day um, and the dart started coming in. So obviously these sharks come in and move and feed in the dart. So uh, this one took quite a bit of string. Got a saltist 8000 with a new, well it's a test rod, it's a Poseidon 15 foot test rod, a grinder rod that we're busy testing now. So. But a lacquer rod throws a good mile. Okay guys, absolute chaos. And the sun got us properly today. Um, this morning we saw a lot of fish off that point there. But none of them wanted to take bait. And now finally, Dean, you, lose, you get a bit despondent. We were fishing for this uh, dart or three spot pompano, as we know, and uh, trying to build live bait out, up for the dark. And there you have it. Dean quickly put one out while we were fishing, and it was absolute mayhem because everybody's rods were still out and it just tangled into everything. Hit it. That's what you're talking about. Wait. Okay, now. From the beginning. Hit it, boy. Now that was a good change for the day. Finally, some action again. And as you can notice, the cameraman, moi, had to fetch the fish as well, which became rather interesting on a couple of fish going forward. This blackfin got such a fright, he immediately spat the dart out. This dart is still 100% alive and jumping around. Very nice start and a quick release. Oh, viewers, wasn't a big fish, around 50, 60 kilos. Uh, oh, I didn't fight too much. Lucky I stopped it before it went over the back bank, but that back bank's quite shallow. So yeah, I'm happy. First fish in Fraser Island, first shark for me. So uh, it's about that time where the sharks are going to start to come more and more. So. We're gonna rush off and put another bait, and uh, yeah, jump. Right, uh, <laughs> what lack of fun. Fishing for, for dart. I got this, oh, there we go. I think it might be a small, could be a small GT, I don't know. I got two one house circles, and I had a piece of Pimpy. Pimpy, Dean. Pimpy, which is a Wallace that they find on the beach. And uh, oh, I'm going to cook something a little bit better now. Oh, there we go. Oh, GT. Nice hard, golden. Golden GT. Okay, so this is a new species for me. It's a golden trevally. And uh, there's a 1 0. Busted tuna circle with a small piece of uh, sand muscle, yeah? Just gonna try and get the hook out. What a beautiful fish. Look at that golden band on that fish. Look here guys, it's like a grunter's lips. A rubber lip 
blurb, but it can come out like a grunter's. It's not exactly the same as the other kingies we know. Okay, so this one's gonna go back. It's only in South Africa where we refer to them as kingies. Better known all over the world as Trevally. In Australia, kingfish is actually a yellowtail. Okay guys, so there's a dot, dot specialist. Dorian the dot specialist, here we go. Blackfin, mackerel, jews, all love it. We'll uh, catch a few more of them. So it's uh, this has been caught on a pipi. Put uh, a bit of a bit of chalk on first, just to keep it there, and then a pipi on top. They taste the pipi, and then they come back with a 1-0 hook using my uh, power angler 10 foot with a 15 pound braid, 20 pound backing. You can't beat this scenery. There are a lot of beautiful areas in the world and this must really rate with one of the top. The bites didn't quite come on as we expected at night and I was lucky enough to hook into a smaller shop. The smaller blackfins are very energetic and can be a very exciting fight. Especially on braid, being so much more direct. And this thing just burst off. What's this time? <laughs> not sure what species of shark this is, but we'll look it up and... Probably it's too big. Now, Ted, this is a front row VIP seats to the creation. And there we go. 